Part number 26, Clay Carroll. Uh, Clay was one of nine children uh, of a cotton mill worker. His dad worked in a cotton mill, Clanton, Alabama. Uh, he worked as a curb service boy at a restaurant. He worked at the cotton mill where his father worked, and he loaded watermelons into trucks. Clay Carroll. That was in his early career. He did work as a scout later on. Number 26. Number 27 is uh, Bernie Allen. Uh, both Clay and Bernie are still alive. Bernie was also the quarterback at Purdue. Quarterback at the Purdue Boilermakers. Bernie Allen. Mike Ryan. Mike died on July 7th, 2020. Uh, he was 78 years old. He uh, died in his sleep. That's all I know. Mike Ryan. Dave Moorhead. <laughs> Dave uh, no hit Cleveland Indians 2 to 0 before only 1,247 fans in a day game at Fenway Park. A little strange phenomena there. Not many fans. Uh, he's still alive also. Bob Allison. Uh, Bob died at the age of 60. He died in April the 19th, 1995. Uh, ATAXIA is a rare degenerative neurological disease. Wow. Only 60 years old when he passed. Then you got the Mets, 1969 rookies. We'll go back to single players. Sammy Ellis. Uh, Sammy Ellis died on May the 13th, 2016. He was 75 years old. Died of cancer. Number 33, Wayne Causey. Uh, Wayne's still alive. He had a Bachelor of Science degree in accounting. Wayne was a smart guy. Number 34, Gary Peters. Peters uh, died in, at the age of 85. January 26, 2023. Now, he was a big practical joker. He was frequently used as a pinch hitter. Once winning a game with a pinch hit home run. Uh, on May the 5th, 1968, Peters hit a grand slam in Kaminsky Park. <laughs> yeah, pitcher used as a pinch hitter. Gary Peters. Number 35. Joe Morgan. Uh, Joe died in October the 11th, 2020. Joe was 77 years old. Uh, he died with leukemia. Joe Morgan. Luke Walker. Uh, Luke's still alive. He's 79 years old. He was one of one of Hank Aaron's last appearances at Pittsburgh's Three Rivers Stadium. Luke hit a rare single. The ball was fielded and thrown to first base where Aaron was playing. Home crowd erupted in cheers, cheers, which Aaron mistakenly assumed they were for him 
as is common even in road games when great players make their final plays. So Aaron doffed his hat to acknowledge the, the crowd, but the crowd was actually cheering for Walker, who turned to Aaron and said, put your hat on, Hank, they're cheering for me. <laughs> Another pitcher with a hit. Kurt Moulton uh, died January 21st, 2010 at 69. Kurt had stomach cancer. Can't say his name. One of my favorite players, Zaro Versailles. Uh, sad story. He died broke. He died January the 21st, 2010. No, I'm back it up. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong line. He died June the 9th, 1995. He was 55 years old. Uh, he had heart disease. He was broke. He won 1965 MVP in the American League. Uh, he'd sold all his awards, all his rings. Uh, didn't have anything left. Zorro signed the baseball and gave me a baseball in 1968. When he was playing for the Dodgers, and we went to Houston, uh, I always remember that. Our old Dick Hughes, he's a pitcher. Uh, he's still alive, actually. He pitched in three seasons for the St. Louis Cardinals. Tore a rotator cuff in '68. Didn't have surgery, but he pitched 63 innings that year. <laughs> Mayo Smith, manager, card number 40. Bob Barton. Catcher for the Giants. Uh, he died in January 15th, 2018. Bob was 76 years old. Card 42, Tommy Harper. Tommy Harper's still alive. He served as a coach for the Red Sox and for the Montreal Expos. Tommy Harper. Joe Negro. Of course, that's Phil's brother. Joe died October 27, 2006. Joe was 61 years old. He had a brain aneurysm. Aneurysm. Card 44. Danny Carter. I ain't got nothing wrote up on him. He is still alive. Danny's 83 years old. Forty-five, Murray Wills. Murray died September 19th, 2022. Uh, Murray was 89 years old. Though most of his major league playing career uh, Will supplemented his salary in the offseason by performing extensively as a vocalist ah, and instrumentalist on banjo. He was good, from what I read. Uh, he also played the guitar and the ukulele. So, Murray Wills. Number 46 is Fritz Peterson. Fritz actually still alive from what I could find, but he does have Alzheimer's. Sad. Fritz Peterson. Paul Popovich. Paul attended West Virginia. Paul's still alive also. Attended West Virginia University where he played baseball and basketball. 
He was a teammate of Jerry West. I think him and Jerry West are still good friends. Paul Popovich. Number 48, Bryant. Uh, he's still alive. First major league pitch he saw, he hit a home run. First pitch, not first at bat. First pitch he saw, he hit a home run. In 49, you got the Royals rookies. Fifty, Roberto Clemente. If you remember, Roberto was from Venezuela. Had a plane crash. Had engine problems. Roberto was killed uh, December 31st, 1972. He was 38 years old. 38. 